Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just thought I'd show you how I do my no heat curled look, which I basically do every day. It's so simple and easy, and it can basically be done on any sort of hair, like short or long. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. This is by far the best method I've found of doing no heat curls. I've tried so many different methods of like, different things like curlers, like socks, like you name it, I've probably tried it. And this is by far the best method I have ever tried. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna need to have wet hair. So I've just jumped out of the shower and just freshly washed my hair. I've then gone ahead and brushed it and this is completely optional, but I've just put in this leave-in conditioner. This is by Milkshake, it's the whipped cream leave-in conditioner and this smells so so good and um, i just like to put this in just because my hair is very dry from like bleaching it and dyeing it so many times so i just like to give it that extra boost okay so next i get my two hair bubbles and i just roughly split my hair in half at the back and just tie one section up out the way So I just tie up one half with my hair bubbles. Um, just in case you're interested, the hair bubbles I'm using are from Slip. They're the silk ones. They're meant to be less damaging for your hair. Um, I'm gonna take my glasses off because I don't want them to get in the way. I just put my spare hair bubble on my wrist because I'm gonna need that ease of access. And then I'm gonna get a dressing gown, um, like belt that goes like to tie it together and place that over my head like so okay i might have to move you because i cannot see to save my life what i'm doing i hope that's still in focus but yeah okay so like i said take the dressing gown belt thing and put that over your head sort of like half and half like you're probably going to feel a bit stupid but it does the job so then what i'm going to do is if i face this way i take a section from this front bit like so not like all of it, like I still want some hair there. One section here, and then one section from behind the back of the belt, and put those two together. So now I lift up the belt, and I put both of those sections that I've put together underneath, like so. And then now just grab the next bit of hair from the front. Um, you don't need to pick up any from the back this time, and just twist it all the way around the belt until it's back at the front and then you keep just pulling bits of hair a bit like a um plait um and then twist it all the way around and then again and you basically just keep doing this until you get to the back of your hair so to till the hair runs out basically and um, i try and do my sections a bit big just because i don't want really tight curls and then with the end, you just wrap it round. And then I just grab it in a pinch like this and get the hair bubble and tie it round, basically. I tie mine really wet just because my hair's so short. Um, but I basically just tie it like this until it's like that. And then obviously, because dressing gown things are quite long, wrap it round. So just wrap it round and then tuck it in just like that and then pull it tight like a knot. And that is the first side. So yeah, I'm gonna talk you through the second side as well. It's exactly the same principle. Um, usually because I've had it tied up, I'll just brush it just to make sure it's not knotty because I'm not sure what that would do. So again, like with the other side, take a piece from the front and a piece from the back, put them together and then bring it back to the front and pull tight and then another bit from the front twist over back to the front and then pick up the next bit of hair twist it over back to the front next bit of hair twist it over back to the front until all the hair is gone and then Twist the end round until you can't anymore. Take a hair bubble and tie it so it's nice and secure, like so. And then again, with this extra bit, I just wrap it round, just so it's a little bit more secure and it also just gets out of the way because 
otherwise it's just faffy isn't it and i just took the end in and pull it just to tie it together okay so this is what it looks like after it's all tied up you do look a little bit crazy um but it's very comfy i don't really ever notice it being like there basically um then i'm just gonna let this dry um you can leave it for a few hours until it's dry, but I just usually sleep in it, which is what I'm gonna do tonight. Um, and then I'll show you the results in the morning. Okay guys, so it's the morning now and still all in, as you can see. Um, it's probably just a little bit messy at the back because obviously when you're moving around, it's just gonna be going everywhere. And yeah, let's just take out these little wrap things and show you the results. Okay, so we're just gonna undo this somehow however you get it up just try and undo it sometimes i get really confused and it takes me a while and it should just pull out and it'd be really easy so then you just pull them off and like you can see just make these really nice little curly waves and then that's one side it looks a little bit crazy right now uh, but also out afterwards do the same with this side it's really difficult like doing it on the camera because i'm looking it like feels like it's backwards even though it's not i don't know and then the same with this one and do it and again we just have a nice nice little like curls so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and brush this out um, usually my front bits like this, I think it's because they're short, um, are a bit crazy, um, but they usually die down after a while. And then, like usually, because like I said, these bits are a bit crazy on mine. Um, if I obviously need to get it quickly, I will like get the straighteners out. But other than that, I just tuck it behind my ears and it like straightens itself out. Um, but yeah, really, really easy to get these nice little like wavy curly bits and it's just so easy to do like you've probably seen um and they're so soft usually not always but i do tend to go in again with the leave-in conditioning foam but just not a lot just a little bit just because it just helps define them a little bit more Hey guys, that is basically it for my no heat curls that I do. Um, yes, I know they still look a little bit crazy, but they've not really fallen out. I'll try and insert a picture from my hair of what they look like when they've like fully doing. Because obviously, when you first take them out, they're a bit crazy. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you try this please feel free to send me your pictures um, on my Instagram, which is always linked down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye, guys.